this and that at the same time. So we are standing in one of the greatest statements that we've ever built in a home. Dad's very proud of it. It was yeah. all his idea. So this is just a really, really cool feature in this home. And as we go in and see the details of how thick everything is, uh, you'll never know how thick it really is. You mean how thin? How thin it is whenever you see how thick it could be. Yep. But we did this not only here, we did it in here. Mm -hmm. And then we also did it in the ceiling up there and the niches, which we're going to see as we walk out. But this is just an incredible statement. In a lot of houses, they have lots of wall space that you don't really know what to do. You, you can put some decorations, but yeah, you could paint it. It's kind of boring. What do you do? This is the, it you kind of brought it, a Texas flair. You could paint it gray. Yeah. Or you could do a faux paint, mm -hmm. but it's never going to look like this. So what's on it? So it's an LVP on the wall. <laughs> And we also did it on the ceilings. Yep. And so it's the first time and we hadn't found anyone who else who knew how to do it. So we, we came up with a new way of, of installing this product on the wall and we mm -hmm. love it. More importantly, the client loves it. It's, it's everything they, they thought it would be. And uh, it took some convincing, even from some of the staff to me, from me to the, some of the staff to, to show them how we could do this. So, we have actually did some, some samples and some experiments at the office since it was the yeah. first one of this kind that we had done. Mm -hmm. But I just, and we did several other projects. We extended the overhang, took out a column in the patio, put in some beautiful steel doors in the front, and in the some entryway. some adjusted and cabinets. This, and yeah, closing off some cabinets, new vent hood, mm -hmm. some toilets. But I think the ceiling recesses and this were the are, statement are definitely the statement in this project. So, And we had to, with this project, we also had to custom design, uh, paint or stain some trims to match it. Mm -hmm. And you can't even tell. These trims look like they were from the manufacturer, in my opinion. But just look at that. There is no appearance of it being thin. It's no. actually thin, but because of the custom trims, it gives that appearance of being thick wood throughout. So you can have this. And do you see the brush marks and everything that we did on those trims? This isn't just a stain. This, this is, is like a, a true accenting piece. Yeah. Yeah, that's that shows the quality of our stain guys, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Great paint job. Yeah. But this is just uniform all the way across now. Yep. It really makes a statement. Now from here, Justin can show you that ceiling way up there that we did. <laughs> so I want you to see these niches, this scaffolding and all, got it up in there. Again, just really, really tied it together. Beautiful, beautiful niches. You don't really have to put any artwork in these niches because they're so, they, they pop so well. But I love when you walk in and you see this and that at the same time. That was, yes. a, that was a dramatic effect, wasn't it? You know, it? at first I was kind of worried that it was going to be too much. But I think it would have been like, where did that come from? If we hadn't had these other little accents. Now it's a feature of the home throughout both floors. It really ties it together yeah. when you walk in and you see that and that at the mm -hmm. same time. I, yeah. I, I think it's got just enough separation, but mm -hmm. it pulls your eye to it. Yeah, it needed it in all parts of the home just a little bit to make it like feel a part of the home. Yeah, this is awesome. Yep. I hope more people want to do it. <laughs>